major outlet. I th- it seems like the Universal wanted to come out. That's it's what really- I'm getting at. It's like the reason we haven't heard anything about the Flash is probably there's NDAs all over the place, right? Yeah. So how come? Why didn't they have something like that? That's well, I saw. I, I read one review who saw it. It was um, the German Weenie. Yeah, German Weenie. He saw it. He hated it. He hated. It. He said it's the it's the worst of the Fast movie, Fast Ten. Um, like like, and and Fast Nine was considered the worst. This one is 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 like the worst of the franchise. Mm. So maybe they, so maybe they know that the movie is gonna be bad. But like like again like like what? It how, looks fun to me, and I'm not a fan of it. It just looks fun. Like all the people like, like it, it looks like an indie, all the other past movies is look. So I think that's why they they knew that the restructure would be great. So it'd be like, oh, this is gonna be in this movie. Uh, the, oh, and. Let the people come out and be like, oh, I should see it. But is it end credit scene? And the movie is long. So you have to Ooh. wait over two hours for this scene. I don't get it. Hey, and if you're just getting here, remember to smash the like button. And all you people that watch on the replay, you've been really helping out the live streams when you hit the like button on the replay, even if it's not live. So I appreciate the support. Uh, this is uh, Queen Bree looking amazing. Look at that background in Rome. Wow, that's beautiful. <laughs> so what I thought you heard. Did you do that? Yeah, you're looking, yeah. Background. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. Yes. Look yeah, at that's that. Where you, okay. I'm looking. Yeah, that is cool. That is cool. Be careful. Be careful. <laughs> so this is where she's going to talk about the Whammon spinoff for Fast okay. and Furious. Just like she was going to do um, a female Avengers film where I forget what they call the the lady group a force a force now she's going to talk about a a spinoff with michelle rodriguez and charlie's there and i believe here so this may be the end of the main saga like coming to the end of is it oh is it oh let me put the volume volumes pretty low on my well i don't know that's what i'm saying there could be spinoffs people could you know Uh, What's one spinoff that you would like to see? Here we go. This is going to trigger everyone, right? No, because uh, there's been talk of all female Fast Furious movies. For- yeah, well, Michelle Rodriguez, after seeing Dungeons and Dragons, she deserves she deserves everything she could get. You know, but she's her- a great, strong female actress, and I, I believe she deserves a spinoff. Yeah, but I think I, I, I'm remembering that they're doing it with. Um, Michelle Rodriguez character, Charlie's Theron character. Uh... Well, let's let's hear what she says here. Well, I mean, you got to hang out with Michelle, Charlie's, and I, and yes. I think it was very clear that we would love to spend more time together. There you go. We would love to spend more time together. It's confirmed. No, no, no. It's not confirmed. But <laughs> what do you think, Voltaire? You want to see the ladies, Fast and Furious ladies? Uh, to be honest with you, I haven't seen anything since Fast and Furious Two. So. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Well, they're good. they're good. They get, they got good, and then they went down. I feel like it should end in after the movie. I mean, it's po- just fun now. It's the roller coaster ride. If you know what you're getting, if you know what they're trying for, what's the harm? Other than Michelle Rodriguez, I don't care for either of those two actresses. So, oh, you're yeah. not a fan of Brie. I'm not a Brie fan. I'm you not were, a sure. Fan. Okay, you were really looking at the background. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, I am a fan of. But Michelle Rodriguez is very good. There's no question. Yeah. I agree with you on that. Mm. Here we go. I don't think we'd be mad about anything that involves ladies altogether. I like it. I like it very. very I don't know. It doesn't know. She's playing coy. She's already planning her production crew. I like it. I like it very. very I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think if she gets a Fast and Furious ladies, that she's also gonna invite uh, Avon Milani, Miss Marvel. No, that's not how it works. Well, they'd want I, enough I think, to get woman in there for sure. Yeah, they'd get no. more people. What do you mean that's not how it works, senor? She's gonna bring her crew. No, no, they're gonna bring their crew. It's gonna be the old women. This is how it was. It's gonna be before she got in. Yeah, Miss Marvel. <laughs> She'll bring Miss Marvel for the ride. No, how's Miss Marvel working fast? Uh, Not as Miss Marvel, just the actress. 
How will a little girl fit in a Fast and Furious movie? That doesn't make sense. By the time they make it, she's not going to be a little girl. She's going to be... I don't know how old she is. It could make it three years. It's not going to work. Uh, I think they're going to get like more like more female action oh, women. God. So like, maybe yeah, like, I disagree. Maybe I, like, you, uh, I don't think she likes any of those women who stole that sequel from her. <laughs> oh, you yeah. don't? Like, I, don't uh, I think we get, 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 get more. I think get more. I think get more women who are who more do action films. So like, the, it could be like say the female expendables. Uh, expendables. So you get Michelle Rodriguez, Charisse Theron, I think Jordan Brusker was said to be in this whole female movie. Maybe they could bring back Gal Gadot. No, it's got to be a woman of color. And, uh, and then, well, okay, okay. Well, then there's Zoe, Zoe Zeldana. She's been in action movies. There you go. Then Brie Larson. And then. They already got uh, two white women and they got a Latina, so they need something else. Let's see. Who is this? Who is this? Oh. Who else? Oh, um, Rat Catcher's in this movie too, so maybe her. Bay Catcher okay. from the Suicide Squad. Yes, her. Unless she survived. Unless she survived. Yeah. I'm kind of like on board for the fact. I I think it's on. Is it on Paramount or Peacock that they have it now? I might I might go watch some. And and the scene where she's <laughs> where she's in the trailer, Voltaire, <laughs> Jason Momoa's the villain. And he uh -huh. loves his cars, and Bree like is on the hood of his car, and he's like, "Get off my beautiful car!" And she like rubs her foot on his hood, his car, to trick. Whoa! Her <laughs> wait, wait, really Jason like, Momoa's in these movies? I didn't know that. Yeah, he's wow. in this current one. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So, yeah, he plays the. Okay, so his thing is, he plays the son of the villain that he killed in Fast Five, and like. He's describing me like the Joker of this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's an interesting uh, <laughs> take I, on the character. Well, apparently, he's the only good part of this film. Uh, on that one review I read, like all the the the, the all the things he says on his bad the movie, he's like, but Jason Momoa is worth seeing it. The price of admission. That's how he puts it. So. It's like Momo is the reason why you you should see this movie. Well, let's uh let's look at some of the reactions here. I don't know if they have reviews up, but uh, there's some reactions. Um, I'm all on board for uh, the Fast and Furious ladies, though. All right, let me bring up the Fast X. Uh, here we go. Fast X reactions. Um, yeah, talking, talking about Jason Momoa. Now, I kind of thought he looked a little silly in some of the trailers with his hair pulled up a weird way. Um, but people are saying he's fun in the movie. And the ladies love him. Yes, they, and not only the ladies. <laughs> mm -hmm. The first reactions to Fast X hail Jason Momoa's villainous Dante as the new MVP of the Fast and Furious franchise. I think that's something they need is a good villain. I always say that for every franchise. Give me a good villain. You do. I hope I hope he I hope he is fun in the movie. Fast X belongs to Jason Momoa and his decadent bad guy Dante Reyes, fierce and flamboyant. His perilous peacocking adds a sharp edge and some refre refreshing dark humor. The rest is ludicrous. <laughs> I mean, but that's the on brand though. With oh shoot. Uh, with clunky elements, but is it stupidly entertaining? What the fast were you expecting? You know, Fast X is entertaining through ride. It's visually spectacle. Jason Momoa brings to the film is Dante is magic. Cool. Jason is Momoa is God level in it and worth price of admission. Yeah, that's one review I read. That's bad. Um, bon Dante like Fast the Furious version of the Joker. He's a gleeful psychopath, and it's delightful. Is he practicing for uh, Lobo or something? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm not expecting much from this. I'm just expecting a ride. But uh, it's, it sounds good to me. It sounds like sounds like fans are going to like it. 
This is a date night movie people go to see. I'm sure it'll do fine. Date night movie? You know, hey, you're out. What are we going to go see? What are we going to do tonight? Let's go see that new Fast Furious movie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I agree. I haven't... <clears throat> I have a lot to catch up with before I see it. I mean, I guess you could go on, you could go in uh, blind to it, not seeing mm-hmm. the previous entries, but you're mm-hmm. you're not going to enjoy it as much. I think. I don't think you need to do homework for this film. I think it's just. You do. <laughs> I was going to ask you, so you're nerdy. Do you need the prior sh- movies to? Yeah, I don't know, think so, because they. they... Even something like so, so 